Hello everybody and welcome to Isekai Cheap Magician episode 8 anime review. I'm less hot this week. Last week I was I was uh, pretty annoyed and I, I shouldn't get annoyed because it's not worth getting annoyed about. It's only Isekai Cheap Magician, you know. But uh, yeah, this week we, uh, what a, we've, we continued the status quo I guess. Uh, I've basically given up hope that this show is going to do anything interesting or different. But uh, I'll, I'll just try and enjoy it for a, a bland isekai. So, yeah. Uh, I don't get too excited for this show, let's just say that. Anyway, let's get on with the episode and see what happened this week. Uh, I guess we're starting probably the final story arc. Maybe second final? I don't know. I haven't read the source. Is this a manga or a light novel? It's an isekai, so probably a light novel. Anyway, let's get on with it. So the episode opens up and, uh, you know, they're fixing up the town. That's good. Everyone's getting back to normal. Anna's actually dead. Good. There's a good thing. Like, I was really expecting them to be like, Oh, she just had very serious injuries. We healed her. She's alive again. Hooray. No, I'm, I'm glad she's dead. Because it, it does make the show more interesting. <laughs> just about. There, there's a, there's a good thing. They killed a character... Good. Thumbs up. Tai Chi shows everyone he's got his, his fairy lady now. He's replaced Anna with his tiny fairy Ariel. Don't think he even mentioned her really this week. He went to the grave at the beginning and that was it. Uh, then a messenger from the royal family comes. She's called Alcena. How Can't wait to see how long it takes for her to get added to the harem. Am I right? Uh, they get invited to the capital and then there's basically... There's some bickering amongst some nobles which has caused a rebellion. So there's going to be a big old fight. Um, there's no one around in the city though, they get there, there's no one around, what's going on? The king, they, they let her from Alcena, the king insisted that Rin and Tai Chi were brought along. And then they get shot an arrow at, who could it be? It was the, it was the duke, we find out like 30, 20, 10 seconds later. It's like, it was me and my men, ha That's my evil duke voice. It was him, he's, he's, he's a bad guy, you can tell because he went, ha ha He didn't actually do that, but... He sort of did, didn't he? In the throne room now, and everyone's looking at them all not happy, all the nobles, I guess. But then the king sends them out. So it's just the king, the princess, and our crew of miscreants, I guess. They ask him to help, basically, and Lamia's like, yes, on, we got a few conditions, though. And then she doesn't say what the conditions are. So thanks, Lamia. Would have really liked to know what your conditions are. The king was the one who summoned Rin and Tai Chi. So, and uh, Tai Chi's not happy about that. He's like, I had a life, damn it. I had a school. You know how late my homework is? Very late. Like, how long have they been there? Like, three months? Maybe it's more than three. I don't know how long they've been there. A long time. Uh, but then, in their room, or Tai Chi's room, Princess Lady came to come talk to her. Basically, it turns out, oh, it was all a ruse. She was the one that summoned them, which is what I thought, because of the thing at the beginning of the series. How do I still remember that? Uh, but yeah, she was the one that summoned them. Rin was an accident because of the magic circle getting kafuddled, and also she jumped in the circle in, in a Earth world. Uh, they can't go back to their original world. Oh no, that's a shame. You could just retire in the Isekai world and just uh, become farmers or something. Farmers who are really good at magic. Magic farmers. Uh, but then Princess is like, once this is over, I'll find a way to send you home. And I'm like, no, she, you won't. You don't think you will. Uh, then they forgive her, and Lei Mia's like, Tai Chi, outside, now, you're in trouble. Come, come apologize to the headmaster. Or something. It's, I mean, yeah. I, I'm trying to think of something interesting to say, and I can't, so, yeah. So Tai Chi is put in an arena where he has to fight the general of the knights. She's a lady who wears a lot of clothes. He decides, well, I can't summon Ariel to wreck, because I'll kill her. That's... It's not good. Um, so yeah, Tai Chi is... Uh, we'll get a bit of it later on. Tai Chi is a bit iffy about killing people. So I can't wait for in a few episodes where he's killing people without thinking about it. Uh, remember this. This b b moment here where he's like, Oh, I don't want to kill people. Remember that later later on when he's like, I'm going to kill everyone. If it doesn't happen, I'll, I'll eat my hat. But I can just predict. Another thing, like... This happened having this episode when the princess came in. I've I've got my notes on my phone. I started writing the note before the princess even showed herself. Like that's how predictable this show is, which is not good. But yeah, Taichi defeats the uh, 
lady and then she wants to be his wife. Ha <laughs> ha, because he's Tai Chi and he's a flipping anime isekai harem protagonist. He's got to have millions of wives, just like smartphone and all those other harem isekai. I don't dislike harem, I don't dislike harem isekais, it's just do it well. Please, please do it well. Or at least decent. This, this wasn't... I'm complaining again, I shouldn't be doing it too much. Uh, then he goes to the roof later on and summons Ariel to talk. He's scared of hurting people, but he doesn't want Rin to kill people. So he's like, I'll kill people if it means Rin doesn't have to. Which, I kind of like that. I kind of like that in a conflict. Now, I can't wait for them both to start just killing people left and right. Like, that's how li I, I like the, the idea of that, that he would rather he kill people than Rin. But I just don't think... I just, I just don't trust this show to do a good thing out of that. I just don't trust it. But I, 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 I shouldn't count my chickens. They might do something really good, for all I know. Then he later on he walks on on Rin when she's naked and sees her naked. And I don't have anything to say about that. Then at the end we have the princess playing and the bad guy is like a priest or something and he tells her to go to bed. So, yeah. that's. <laughs> I feel like I've really deflated... I mean, usually, even if it's not a great show like this one, I'm usually pretty energetic and whatever. But ugh, it's just so bland. Like, if it's outwardly terrible, it's fun to make fun of. This is just bland. It's not even fun. Like, it's so... It's really by the numbers, isn't it? Don't make something by the numbers, kids. Everybody, everybody who watched this, all seven people, um, write an isekai light novel and send it to me. Don't send it to me. I'll buy, I'll buy it. Right, I'll let know what it is and I'll buy it. If, if anyone actually does do that, I will, I will buy it. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. That was the end of the episode. I should have said that. Uh, I guess the priest is either... Or he's not a priest, he's like a marquee cardinal. He's some, he's some sort of summon. Uh, either he's going to be... Either the princess is evil or he's like deceiving the princess... I don't know. I'm going to guess he's deceiving the princess. That would, uh, would seem more in line with what this show's doing. Princess being evil would be funner and be a better plot twist. But yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, consider subscribing for others. And there's a lot of anime and all that. A lot of better anime. Um, I will see you next week. And bye guys.